Hi everyone, it is Patrick and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video. I made a little bit of a YouTube comeback last week and I said I was going to be pumping out these fall recipe videos and I was not lying. Today, we are coming in with a really good one. I am so excited, you should be so excited. If you saw the title, if you saw the thumbnail, you already know what's going on. But today, we are going to be remaking the Starbucks. These names are always so long. Let me see. I used to apple crisp oat milk macchiato. Yes. So Starbucks actually released this little apple macchiato last year and then this year they did a little bit of a remix and are just making it with oat milk. Obviously you can get it with like any kind of milk that you want but if you just order it right off the menu they're going to give you oat milk. I would highly recommend sticking with oat milk. That's what I'm going to do today. So like I said earlier Starbucks actually released a little version of this last year and it was so good. I never actually ended ended up filming a recipe. Um, I don't really know why, but I'm excited to be filming one this year. When I tried it last year, I was super impressed with how it turned out. It literally tasted like apple pie put into a caramel macchiato. Like it was so good, like so good. So we do have to make a few little mini recipes within this larger recipe. We have to make the, uh, let me just go ahead and read. We have to make the apple brown sugar syrup, the spiced apple drizzle, and then the espresso. So once we have those little things together, we can finally bring everything together into one amazing drink. It might sound like a lot right now, but trust me, I'm gonna break it down. It is super easy. And once you make like the syrup, the drizzle, you will have that stuff for multiple drinks. So even though you're gonna have to put in a little bit extra effort for the first one, the rest of your drinks should be super easy to make. So the first thing we're gonna make is our apple, what's it called? So the first thing we're gonna make is our apple brown sugar sugar syrup. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is an apple. Like, shocker. It does not matter what specific apple that you get here. I think this is like honey crisp, I think. So like all of my recipes, I will have everything that I used linked down below. And I'm going to put a link to the website I'm getting this recipe from. It is from lifestyleofafoodie.com. Just wanted to shout it out. Um, They did all the hard work for me and like figured out this recipe. I am tweaking a little bit like using oat milk, tweaking the amounts a little bit, but yes, thank you, lifestyle of a foodie, so much. Love you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just chop up this apple. Obviously, you do not want to use like the core part, so just cut around that. Your slices do not need to be perfect. We are going to end up straining this in the long run, so just give it a rough chop. And when you're done chopping it, put it in like a little pot like this. Plus, you may be able to count this as one of your daily servings of fruit. Mm -hmm. Now, the second kind of key flavor component of this syrup is brown sugar. So I'm gonna add in one third of a cup of dark brown sugar. That is going to really help us get that like caramelly flavor in the syrup. And you cannot really do this with like just plain white sugar. So yes, brown sugar going in. And then to help add just a little bit extra apple flavor, I'm gonna add in one quarter of a cup of apple juice. Okay, a quarter cup of this going right in. The next thing I'm gonna add in is three quarters of a cup of water. That will just help dissolve the sugar and really get this syrup like syrupy. And then the last thing that we're gonna add in right now is a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This is what is going to make this taste like a really good spicy apple crisp cinnamon going in. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil over medium high heat and then once it's boiling I'm gonna turn it down to about like medium low and let it simmer for 15 minutes but I will bring you all along through this process yes so then the next thing we need to make is the apple drizzle that goes right on top of the drink it is like a little bit of a garnish but I really do think it makes a difference in the final drink plus it uses a lot of the same ingredients as the apple brown sugar syrup so you already have the stuff just just make it so the first thing I'm gonna add into my little saucepan is two cups of apple juice. The next thing I'm gonna add is two tablespoons of brown sugar. Boop. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm gonna put this over high heat until it is boiling and then I will tell you all what to do. Ooh. 
Okay, so our apple little syrup mixture is boiling. So, oh my gosh, doesn't that look so good? So I'm gonna turn the heat to medium low. And we are going to let this simmer for 15 minutes. And then our apple drizzle sauce is now boiling as well. So we can turn this down slightly just to like a medium high heat. And we're gonna let this go for about like 25 minutes until it is significantly reduced and a little bit like syrupy, yes. You definitely want to make sure to keep on stirring this because we do not want anything burning in here. It does have a lot of sugar in it. So just be sure to stir this occasionally. Okay, so our apple brown sugar syrup has been simmering for 15 minutes. And as you can see, our little like, drizzling sauce is bubbling away, like a lot. So I just have a strainer over a glass bowl and I'm just going to pour everything into the strainer. The apples did their job, but they are no longer needed. So bye. Okay. Okay, so this has been reducing over like medium high heat for like 15 minutes now and I think it is done. So I'm gonna pour this into a glass bowl and as it cools, it will like thicken into like a syrupy like sauce, almost kind of like a caramel and this will be perfect for drizzling over our drink. They look very similar, so I'm gonna like try to like not get them confused. Um, oh, that's gonna be hard. So this is actually completely done. All this needs to do is cool and we still have to add a few things to the apple apple brown sugar syrup. So the first thing that we're going to add is a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And the reason why we're adding it now is because when you heat like extracts, they tend to evaporate very quickly and all the flavor just like goes. So we wanna make sure that we're tasting that vanilla. So that is why we are adding it in now. And then the next thing I'm going to add in is completely optional. If you are like anti-artificial flavoring or you just prefer for things to be natural, um, you might want to skip this step. So the next thing I'm going to add is a half a teaspoon of apple flavoring. You can find this on Amazon. I will have it linked down below. But like I said, this is completely optional. This just really like pumps up the apple flavoring in this syrup. Um, but it will be completely fine without it, trust me. But if you want a little bit of an extra apple punch, then I would recommend adding this. Yes. So I'm just going to whisk the vanilla and the apple flavoring in so everything is combined. And just like the drizzling sauce, we are just going to set this aside to cool completely. And then we will be back to make the rest of our drink. Ooh. So both of our syrups have cooled off and now it is time to make the espresso portion of this drink because it is a macchiato and that requires espresso. <laughs> there are a few ways that you could go about this. You could use instant espresso. You could use like an espresso machine. I do not have that. I do kind of want to get one. Or you could use like really, really strong coffee and just make this like an apple crisp iced coffee, if that makes sense. You could totally do that. It actually sounds really good. But I'm just going to be using my trusty Mr. Coffee espresso maker. I got this on, I think, Amazon for like less than $50, I want to say. So if you are on a budget, but you still want to make like barista drinks at home, this is a great option. And I am going to be making a venti iced drink, which has three shots of espresso. So those are the like measurements I'm using. But if you want a bigger drink or a smaller drink, please feel free to adjust. And then for the actual espresso I'm using, I'm using the Lavazza brand Espresso Italiano. I will have it linked down below. There are a lot of options on Amazon. I would advise you to go ahead and get a ground espresso specifically made for espresso machines. I made the mistake of using like espresso coffee that was like made for like coffee machines and um, it was not a pleasant experience. So just go ahead and pick up something like this they normally come in like cans like this. Ooh. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up this little glass container with some water and so we can put it in our espresso machine, but please just follow the directions for your specific machine. If you saw my last video, you know that I just recently moved. So I think I actually like lost my espresso like press thing that I like to use. So we're just gonna wing it, yay. Ooh. So in my machine, you just spoon the ground espresso into like this thing. I don't know what it's called. I'm, I probably should know, but I don't. So I just call it the like espresso container. This will just take a little bit. So let's get working on building the rest of our drink. Yay. So the first thing we're gonna put in our Starbucks tumbler is five tablespoons of the apple brown sugar syrup. Remember, this is not the drizzling sauce. This is just like the basic syrup that is going to be the flavoring of this macchiato. Five tablespoons. You can adjust it depending on how sweet you like it. I 
like it sweet. The next thing we're gonna add in is some oat milk. So I'm just going to fill this to the top line on the cup, but if you aren't using a Starbucks tumbler, I would say it's about like maybe a cup and a third of oat milk. Yeah, let's go with that. Ooh. So the next thing we're gonna add in is some ice and you want to add it in and just leave a little bit of room at the top for the espresso. So the next thing we are going to put on top of this is our espresso. I'll just pour the espresso very gently right on top. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes, 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 her. And then I'm going to take some of the apple crisp like little drizzling sauce right here. Oh my gosh, it is like the perfect consistency. This is going to give it extra flavor and just that extra special touch that we love. Mm. Pop the lid and the straw on. So here is the final drink. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Like the milk is like spiced, so it's like kind of like off-white. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. And we have the espresso on top. We have the apple brown sugar syrup on the bottom and that oat milk. Oh my gosh. Oat milk is just so superior. Like why is there any other kind of milk? We just need oat milk. That's it. This looks amazing. I'm so excited to see how it tastes. So let's give it a taste. This is spot on to the Starbucks one. It literally tastes like apple pie, but put into like a macchiato. It is so good. We get that apple flavor, we get that cinnamon, we get that brown sugar, and oat milk is just, oh, so good in here. Oh my gosh. It's spicy, it's sweet, and then you get that espresso. I love this a lot. So I will have the full recipe down below, as well as links to things I used in this video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you loved it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, down below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm at the Patrick Meyer and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.